All right, hey everyone, it's Chris, and I just wanted to give you a quick look at Resident Evil 4 on PS4, and this is the physical copy. And I just wanted to talk about the quality of it, which uh, is basically great so far. So we'll go ahead and jump in my game. So, uh, as you can see from the video, it's running 60 frames, just like the PC Ultimate Edition. And, uh, I believe the PS4 version is 1080p. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> so, I believe the PC Ultimate... Good things on sale, stranger. I believe the PC Ultimate Edition... Uh, upgraded the textures just slightly. It looks like it carried over to uh, what are you this version as well, and we definitely want Is the larger case it? right away. Thank you. Okay, so let's just show a little bit of the game. So so far, it looks like to me that it has all the graphical effects. Um, from the GameCube version. Um, I've seen, like, specular highlights on, like, objects, which I believe was missing in the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions. But yeah, it looks like it runs, uh, perfect at, uh, 60 frames, 1080p. Uh, it's got some interesting options. I'm not sure if this was in the uh, PC Ultimate Edition. I have to go back and check. It probably was. But you can turn the motion blur on and off. It was uh, off, and this is what it looks like when it's on. Which, uh, I believe this is how it looked on the original GameCube version. But they most likely used that to uh, cover up some of the jagged edges, because it was pretty low resolution. But yeah, let's... Uh, go ahead and keep that off because I think it looks good with it off and I believe there's still motion blur in the cutscenes but uh the yeah, only problem right now is I don't have enough for the sniper rifle let's see Welcome. I need 12,000 oh wait oh that's right what I can are sell. You selling? well I'm selling a lot sell all these is that all stranger but yeah so far it's looking pretty good <laughs> thank you and I made sure to save the uh, pearl pendant I'll buy it at a high price <laughs> so now we got plenty thank you and we're gonna save those come back anytime and uh, the control schemes if you're curious are right here this is the first one which is more like Resident Evil 5, where you aim with the right stick. But I went with Type 2, where you aim with the left stick, but you can still look around with the camera on the right stick. And then there's number 3, which is more like the GameCube original, I believe, because you aim with R1 and you fire with one of the face buttons. Uh, I think it's square. But I like this one because it mixes like the Resident Evil 5 style with the Resident Evil 4 style in the in the sense that you aim with the same stick that you move on and it's like Resident Evil 5 because you use the triggers to aim and shoot. So that's quite nice. Anyways, let's get that sniper rifle and get going here. What are you buying? Is that all? Yeah, I got enough room. Just put it on the bottom here. <laughs> Thank you. And go ahead and get the scope as well. Why not? We want to be accurate here. Just put it like that. And I like to arrange my stuff, but we will probably do that later. <laughs> Thank you. And we'll buy a rocket launcher now. Okay. Wait, what was the other option? I forgot. Oh, yeah, you can tune it up as well. Okay. Hmm, I can only get one, though. 
I'll go ahead and do the rifle since uh, that old we're going to be using it here. Thank you. All right. And you hit the touchpad on the PS4 to bring up your inventory. And then I have to combine this to equip it. I got my scope. And I aim with with uh, L2 and shoot with R2 this scheme. And as you can see, uh, it has the same characteristics as the PC version where the sniper reload animation is still 30 frames a second. Which I didn't really expect them to fix, but yeah. People were wondering about that. But, I think it looks fine. Um, there's some things that were obviously hard-coded to 30 frames, but that is the case with a lot of older games. Oh, shit. Oh, watch out. Alright, I'm gonna switch over. Oh, shit. Off you go. So yeah, it runs really good. Obviously, the 60 frames per second is what helps the gameplay the most. Oh shit! I'm uh, getting myself fucked up. I probably should have sniped them for longer, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the action in this game. Um, but yeah, so far it's looking like a good port. Resident Evil 5 was kind of sloppy. And I'm dead. But uh, this is definitely looking like a winner so if you want this game on a physical copy and you don't have PC you should definitely get it on PS4 alright guys hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next video